day 29 of doing makeup looks for the face and if you want to dress up you can but i'm not today's look is going to be the jigsaw look anyways let's start the video <laughs> makeup look i'm sorry i'm tired i'm gonna go in with the elf poreless putty primer i was about to say the cc cream we ain't doing that before we prime you know let me zoom it in. I have reference photos of Jigsaw, so I know what I want to do. Just a little bit. A little bit. Like so. Then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And just put a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. You can use the products I'm using, but if you have some at home, use the ones that you have at home. And if you are new, I used to say something else, but right now I rather just give you the best hack that I have now, which is if the base of the primer is water and your concealer or whatever, like foundation and stuff, is silicone, it's not going to stick, it's going to smear. That it will save you enough money, literally. I wish I knew that back then but i did not and it did not save me money which is is a-okay a-okay because now i know and it saves me money but yeah so just make sure it's the same base and i'm gonna go in with the elf camo concealer So, I watch a lot of horror movies, as you can tell. That's why I'm doing a lot of makeup looks from horror, horror, right? Yeah, characters. At least I'm trying, okay? It's been a while since I've done, like, full-on makeup looks. And I love it. I don't know why I stopped, but, like, I don't know. Will I continue the series? Yeah, every single October. Thinking of doing it when there's also like holidays, but it's fine. It's fine. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the Rare Beauty Setting Powder as contour because it's the closest thing I've got to contour. Um, if you don't have any, I would say go buy some. But you could also use eyeshadow. But just be careful what kind of colors there is because last time i did a brown thinking it was a good shade and it looked like a good shade and it wasn't it had a hue of purple which you could tell but obviously i wasn't wearing my glasses so that's what i get for not wearing my glasses that's what i really get but yeah do with that as you will i'm just contouring wherever i contour usually when i wear makeup I used to wear a lot of makeup back then and now I'm just like whatever's about it. I don't know why. Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. Sorry, there's an itch. Oh man. Okay there. The next thing I'm gonna go in is uh, with the Rare Beauty mini mascara. Just do my brows. Obviously, you could do whatever you want to your brows. You could fill them in or whatever, but I like it natural. Obviously, I'm going to still continue with my other face stuff. But right now, I'm going to do my brows because they're bugging me. Like so. Oh, I forgot. Man, I'm always going to forget. What in the world happened to the thing? Man. It's ringing. It fell. But I'm gonna curl my lashes. Like so. I usually do this before. Like, I wanted to start doing it before so you could see that. Like, it does kind of move around the stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's because I don't set it. And if you do set it, it wouldn't move, obviously. But it's fine. Okay. So, for the rest of the face, let me get out the other one. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Monsters Ink Collection. 
I'm gonna use the blush just a little bit, not too much. Obviously, on camera, you could somehow tell a little bit, but in person, you could tell like it's there. Like so. Sorry, my hair just keeps getting in the way. Oh, what in the world? It doesn't want to come out. There. Oh, I'm going to use this brush. I don't care. There. That's the best I can do right now. And then I'm going to go in with the Revolution Monsters Ink Highlighter. And put it where I think it should go. Sorry if you hear that noise, I am washing right now. Literally my whole life right now. Literally. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on now just in case some shadow does get in there. Dang, you saw that? I don't think you saw that. The camera did not catch that. Okay, so for the eyeshadow part, I think I wanna do go in with that ghost face palette, um, glam light palette. And with this brush right here, this one right here, we're going to go in with Vintage Mask. It's this one right here. And you're just going to very so gently just go for it. I'm just going to put it on my lid for now. Just in case. I do want to end up like smearing it. underneath I'm gonna do the other eye too I'm going to go in with Chilled Frost to blend it all in. Or at least blend it into my skin. Like so. Remember, if you do mess up, you could always go in with your sponge and clean it up. I think that's the best hack I can give you. Like so. Sorry, what I could see here in between like different ones, it's like crazy, crazy wild. Mm -hmm. Going back in with that highlight. I'm just going to fill in the spot that the shadow took over, basically. And then since we already, I already curled my lashes, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. Obviously, you won't see much of a difference, but it's A-OK. -okay. As long as there's some there, it don't matter. Another mascara that I love, besides my number one for, like, you know, high-end. For drugstore-wise, I'd say the L'Oreal Telescopic. I know that was my first mascara that i ended up liking so much because i've tried so many and then once rare beauty came out with hers like selena miss selena gomez i ended up going for hers because i'm a big fan of selena big fan anyways going back in with the scooby-doo glam light palette oh going back in sorry i was looking at the picture going in with the scooby-doo glam light palette i'm gonna go in with the red and I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to try to do a little... Actually, I'm not going to go in with that one. Actually, yeah. I'm going to do my mouth. So I'm going to do the lipstick part. 
Oops, I don't got their stick like that. Sorry. Keep like leaning down. I think that's a cute little detail. And then, where's the little brushy? I'm gonna go in with this tiny brush right here. And for the what, like the little Lulus, that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, it's more tighter, but it's a okay. I just kind of like it like this. Going in with the other side. A girl said, I can't fix what I just did, but it's A-OK. -okay. Like so it does not have to be perfect as long as it's there I did do that one higher but it's a-okay and then going in with a different brush same design though for the little pointy part I'm gonna go in with the ghost face palette we're gonna use well I'm gonna use the vintage mask color and I'm gonna do This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day. I'm gonna be